last video we went through the whole entire Cubase interface and, and looked at every single button, every single panel, and what everything's doing. And in this one, we're going to get started. We're going to actually create some sounds and uh, work with tracks and start organizing our project. So if you notice in this panel here where I have most of my tracks, um, where you uh, select the tracks in the timeline, you can right click and you can pick any kind of new track that you want. So because I'm working with VSTs and virtual instruments, we're going to get started. We're going to create a MIDI track. But before we do that, let me show you an easier way to do it. Let's pick an instrument for our rack. So a track instrument is going to be a VST that is only useful on one track at a time. A rack instrument is something that you can use just like an audio rack in your studio. Uh, you can send different things to it. So I usually work with rack instruments. Um, you can right click in here or you can click this little this guy right here. So we can add, that's going to add a track instrument. So I usually um, don't use this. I, I, don't, I don't prefer um, track instruments. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a rack instrument. You can see what it does. It pops up this little selector, and you can have access to the different um, instruments in your collection, whatever you've installed, whether it's the built-in Steinberg stuff. Um, now, I've kind of organized mine. I'll show you how to do that. But uh, for now, um, you're just going to pick. I would just pick uh, whatever you use to make drums. So because um, Groove Agent comes with Cubase, we're gonna we're gonna work with Groove Agent. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a new Groove Agent VST, and then what it does is you can see it already has created some stuff over here for Groove Agent. And this is a, an audio. You can little see the little speaker. We already have a stereo output uh, for the Groove Agent plugin, but I want to also create a MIDI track for the plugin. If I do that, you can see it opens up the Groove Agent interface, and now we've got a new folder called VST Instruments. Inside of that we have a, our first VST as a folder for the Groove Agent and it created a MIDI track down here. So I can click on these, nothing happens, but uh, at the moment what we're going to do is um, just pick some kind of instrument to load in here. And so this uh, little drop down here is what you want to do to find the instruments. So you can see here we're going to um, go look for a drum set and uh, in the drums uh, dr uh, drum set category there's a style after that. So you can see basically whatever you have selected over here it's showing you it's matching over here. So in the drum set category for Groove Agent you can see there's classic rock, dance hall, dark wave, um, just for fun, I'm going to do um, Electro House. Let's pick that one for right now. And you can see now it's narrowed down even further. There's only three possible uh, kits here. Let's do Electro Kit 01. And you can see it click that, and now it's loaded up in here. And we have some, some drums we can start playing with. Now, what I'm going to do is just show you that it comes with these sounds but it doesn't come with any patterns if you want patterns you can click and hold on here and you can kind of hear some of the patterns so now how do you get that pattern to play well one way is just to uh, hit the space bar and stop but for, as an example if you want you can click and hold and hear what pattern is included in that pat in that kit. Um, so what you want to do is uh, you can hit play in here to, to hear uh, the patterns. Now you probably aren't going to use the built-in ones but if you do want to get some idea um, and just just have something you know to play along to you can pick any one of the different uh, patterns and just just hit play and then play along with it just to get get some ideas down. 
But usually what I do is because I want to I want to have full control over these different settings is what I'll do is I'll take this pattern. You can drag it right here into the MIDI track. And if you notice, if you go back to instrument, each one of these instruments has a note that's associated with it. So as well, you can hit on your on your MIDI controller keyboard, you can hit like C1, C sharp one and trigger these notes as well. So now I'm gonna drag this over here just for now, but you can see we've made a, a two measure pattern. And now I can drag that loop point out to bar three. And now you can see it's actually triggering that groove agent sample um, those samples in the Groove Agent VST through this MIDI track. And so just to get a better idea of what's going on here, you can see it's taking from any MIDI input and it's sending to the Groove Agent plugin. Okay, so here's where you can actually send MIDI data to the pattern. If you want to change the pattern that it's playing and just use the built-in patterns, you can use a pattern track and the patterns work the same way. So it's a little confusing, but you can, if you send G sharp one, it'll switch to this pattern. If you send A one, it'll switch to that pattern. So there's a couple different ways of doing it. And this is the way I like to do it because this way you can come in here, double click on this part and you can see, okay, it's doing the kick drum and the, um, the, the snare, snare drum. And this is your basic um, electronic music beat right here and you can see as it plays turn the metronome off all right stop so hopefully that gives you a good idea of just where to get started and how to build um, start building your tracks with using MIDI and using the built-in VSTs now in the next video we're gonna see how do we how can we change the sounds how can we change the pattern and start building out our track